this video, you are going to learn with me how to draw a frontal face. Yeah, a frontal. Don't run. Don't, don't run. It's all fine. We're going to learn together. Here, take my hand. Yeah, let's go. Come here. Let's go. We're going to draw together frontal face. Leave a like and subscribe if you're enjoying already this intro. Let's go. Faces are the thing that I'm drawing all the time. So I, I'm going to make this tutorial the easiest, the most forward practical way for you possible. Let's already get into it. First things first, you draw the freaking circle. Yeah, that's, you, you can't run from that, okay? The circle, and it's not going to look like a circle. That's how you know that your circle is good because it doesn't look like a circle. Second thing, you are going to draw in the middle of the circle, a rectangle in the middle, you know, the middle. You see that all my lines are trembling to show you that even trembling you can make great stuff. Let's go. Heck yeah, you can do it. Let's go in the middle, you know, the middle. And again, in the middle, in the horizontal way, middle in the vertical, middle the horizontal here. You're going to start a rectangle falling down. It's going to fall down for rich. Don't sink up right again. It's up right. Here's the rectangle. After that, you are going for look at this amazing already you are going to draw a d laying down you know the letter d it's going to hey it's night i'm going to sleep so it's laying down in its bed and you just put the d right here. <laughs> you just add the letter d laying down right here okay you add the letter d and you do the same to the other side you do the same. It's fine. Your D are not. It's not. It's not going to be the same D as the other D here on the line of low in the lower line of the D. Do you know the lower line of the D? <laughs> You're gonna start doing the chicks. How you do the chicks? A triangle. Okay. Do you have a triangle? You're gonna lay down that triangle too. You're gonna do it a little bit thicker, like fat, inflated, inflated triangle, like. And then it's falling down. Okay. Okay, that's the movement. And you do the same at the other side on the same level. Good. Now, how you're going to make the ears triangle again, get yeah, again. But in place of doing a perfect triangle, you're going to do it like more like a cone you know that is a little bit thicker yeah a little bit thicker there's the middle line here a little bit to the side okay a little bit here's the middle line you go a little bit to the side and then always 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 look him in the face always you make this side of the ear more into the outside area of the face comparing to eyes okay and now the same to the other side here's the middle is a little bit more far away and then yeah we did it and now for the nose you do a triangle okay good triangle done and for the mouth you can just do a little arrow right here, pointing up. Or you can do a smile because we love smiles and you're gonna be doing the smile. We are doing the smile. Heck yeah, smile. You do the arrow and then to do the smile, you just go like, you know, reverse and make it go up. Okay, going up. Heck yeah. And when you make it going up, going up, it's not going like here. All the way here you can if you're drawing a really cartoonish artwork but go just a little bit okay and then you do a line like at the end you draw like an open c letter c you do like a c like e. and it's the same on the other side e. this is a great base that we have now i'm gonna show you how to make it even better we can make it if we can make it even better even better even better I'm just lowering the opacity right now. Okay, you can see here I'm lowering the opacity, lowering it. Good. Now that we have this beautiful base, we're going to start drawing it like the, the good, the extra thickness, the yes, fight version, the 
the amazing, the outstanding, the incredible, invincible 10 out of 10 version. Creating a new layer by pressing Ctrl Shift N and the name of this layer is like and subscribe. I love you. You are amazing. We have this beautiful base, but now we are going to do something different. We are not going to draw in that base, block that base. We don't need that base to draw on it. We're drawing a different layer above it. Right now we're going to start adding the details and making everything look good. We're going to start by the eye. I recommend starting by the eye. Do the upper letter C laying down. A little bending point, okay? I did hear this area bending a little bit upwards because it shows like, hey, it's happy, it's smiling. And when you smile, your eyes, they close a little bit. You see? Here, upper eyelid, very important. You can do a small upper eyelid or you can go all the way and do a gigantic one. It all depends on the art style that you enjoy. And now, of course, eyebrow. You can do the normal Dogo eyebrow, like a little circle here, or you can do human eyed. I prefer to do human. But if you want to draw the cute one, go for it. For the nose, we are not going to keep this strong triangle at the silhouette. We are going to make it a little bit more inflated. We are going to inflate it. With air, probably. Here, here, gigantic, yes, gigantic nose. On place of doing it just pure triangle, here in the corner, we are going to make it going down. And then side and then a circle. And here another circle. And now for the mouth. You just draw the line that connects the mouth and the nose. There is a line that connects it. But if you're drawing a very cartoony style and simple one, you don't need to draw that line. And now mouth, the little arrow going down. It's going up, and then going up. And the little line at the end. Why there is the line here? Because the meat is bending. Meat bending is happening. Whenever I say meat bending, I just imagine a piece of barbecue just and you bend it, you know there's beef, and just pick the beef and roll it. Imagine sushi made out of beef. Here at the other side, same thing. Remember this little format here at the end, it's pretty much letter C, letter C. Here this big thing here, letter C, letter C. Here, up here, letter C, and here another C. It just changes how the C is curved. It's everyone is letter C. You here, C. I see you. Oh, or it's S, the letter S. <laughs> and now for the chin, you can make a small chin, or you can make a huge chin. You decide. No one is here to hold you on that. Do some small dots here if you want three or more depends on how much you're feeling like i'm just doing three. Oh, by the way remember the form and the, the direction of them you cannot make them randomly just like i did see i raise it and fix it now to do the fluffy 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 you start here okay here up here and then first fluff okay first fluff and now we are going to do a thick fluff. Thick fluff. Thick, thick. Maintain the thickness. What I did. Gonna do the movement again for you. Try. And now a small fluff. Small. Now here you can just go crazy like shwing. Good. Do you see this huge fluff? We're gonna break it down. Here. We broke this huge fluff with a line, a soft and gentle line. Don't you dare to do this! No, no, you do a, a soft and gentle line. Now, 
now we go here to a small fluff just to connect okay like hey there's a small fluff here like haha i know how fur works that's what we want here to show people that we understand how fur works do you know the small fur that i just said haha i know how fur works you did you do that in every bending point pretty much here's another bending point and you go like haha i know haha and then you go back into drawing the ear form it okay and then again haha i know how fur works <laughs> we have done a thousand of those we're gonna take the word with those and here at the tip do you know do you see this tip this tip right here this pixel tip yeah on this pixel tip you are going to make it going down for real i mean you're gonna make it from here and little by little go down and then another fluff and remember there is also fur inside here to an extra bending point there's fur inside you can go and just draw lines like this or you can go draw those lines but at the same time connect some of them or you can go like haha everything is connected everything is together all pieces that I pretty much just drew one side because when we talk about digital art do you really think we need to struggle with the other I know you don't need to struggle with the other no 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 you don't need to let me show you right now how to forever and ever never need to struggle with that ever again we can see here our drawing right now I'm going to press L on my keyboard it's the same as selecting this tool right here I believe you can see yes you can you can so this tool right here and if you still cannot see it you click here between these three options the first one lasso two you select all of your side all of it, all of it even the chin and the muzzle if you need to for me I don't since I drew already but all of this area what you're gonna do now if you're using Photoshop you can just press ctrl J if you're using another program I don't know if you have this function but you can go ctrl C and ctrl V the difference is that ctrl J du duplicates exactly on the same space that you were but ctrl V ctrl C it's not the same but you can see also that I created a new layer okay you can see that on that new layer you press ctrl T okay ctrl T and you can drag that thing click on it and then you click flip horizontal okay good look at this <laughs> oh, what the freak okay um, and you can go in here yes that was what I was going to say good now we gotta check the distance between each side and when you do this there is a huge trouble that people get when trying to duplicate and it is that their eyes are looking like hey I'm looking here and the other one is looking here okay what is happening here is that your two eyes are too separated your two eyes when you duplicate like this your two eyes are too far away they need to be closer okay so first of all you go here ctrl e or just click here and you click on where is this oh of course here merge down here now everything is one layer good good so what you gotta do is get both eyes closer using the lasso tool and to drag them anywhere that I want I just hold ctrl and then there is that this little scissor that appears okay this little scissor and you can just drag and drop holding ctrl and then you just release it and to take out the selection you press ctrl D and now we can go and add some details that we were thinking on adding but we did not add yet Remember 
were to do a little bit of some things that are different on each side. Yeah. So they don't look exactly the same on both sides. Let me show a tool that I always use no matter what. It's pretty much the step that I always do in my drawings on my art tutorials, that it is, that it is the fixing part. Right now, what I want to do is to show the fur even more fluffy, make the fur very, very fluffy, extra fluffiness. And I'm going to use the liquify tool. This is the part, this is the step that I use to just change everything that I don't like or that I want to see as improving. I'm going to select lasso two everywhere that I want to see change, okay? Now with this area selected, I'm going to click here in the filter and then liquify. You're gonna see the red area. Do you see the red area? You cannot touch there. You can try. You can you you, you just don't touch there. You touch and all the rest. So this is the magic, the beauty. Making my brush bigger, you can make bigger here or with your tablet, any other way that you have. Here, yeah, make, just making the fur a little bit more far away from everything. Now to finish your beautiful drawing that you did there, I know you are going to paint. So first things, <laughs> I can see in the comment. No, Gabs, I'm not going to paint. <laughs> comment down below if you like to paint the drawings that we show here. So I'm going to show how to do a basic painting. First of all, have all the silhouette. Do you see the silhouette right here? All of the silhouette. Yeah, all of it, close it. What do I mean by close it? I mean that you cannot have a connection between this outside world and the inside world of the wolf, okay? You cannot see any in between. No, you cannot, it shall not pass. So now we are going to use our magic wand. You can just press W on your keyboard or you can go here, click here, and in place of quick selection, you choose magic wand. You select all of the background, okay? But of course, we are not going to color the background. We are going to press right now. Control Shift I. Good. What we did right now is that we inverted our selection. Now you just go Control Shift and create a new layer pretty much. And you call it. You call it, of course. So in this layer here, you got to be clicking on it. Okay. You cannot be in the liner. You got to be in the. When you are in the rush, that's when you are going to press G, bucket two. You choose a color that you enjoy a lot. Good, amazing, we got it. Good, select it, and then you just click. Everything is orange. And then you lock your, your layer, lock that. You, you gotta lock that, because if you don't lock, who's going to lock for you? Hmm? You gotta lock that. Now I select an even brighter color and neutral. I'm going to adjust another color here in my layer that is locked. Imagine you needing to paint the little space by little space and going here all the way. Yeah, you can do that. You, you can do that. But you're going to blur, make it blur. Yeah, you're going to go out of the line sometimes. And it takes a very long time. What you can do, and the other side as I can show you, go to a line art layer, wand, magic wand. This is not going to select with perfection, but this is going to make our work much more easy. Now we are going to 
press Ctrl Shift N for a new layer and it's going to be called chocolate and you're gonna press Ctrl and out hold it hold hold it hold it between your base color and the chocolate you just click it okay chocolate's going to be shadow you change normal mode into multiply or you change into linear burn the one that you feel like it's good okay or multiply that's a little bit more soft create a new layer call it whey protein and whey protein is going also like the others to be a create a clipping mask create a clipping mask here you can see it's clip mask it but this time whey protein is going to shine we are going to create highlights okay here a highlight where's the highlight if you try and it's not appearing try to press ctrl d because your selection can still be there Once you make it just a little bit more crazy, you can lock your multiply layer. I'm just I'm just saying you can lock your multiply layer, your your shadow layer. Okay, you lock it. You, if you select a darker color than the one that you use it, my cat. If, if we turn the shadows just a little bit darker, you know, just a little bit, with a very gentle brush, and we start just pressing it everywhere, we're gonna see it happening. Look at this. Now for the last thing do you know your line art yeah your line art you're gonna click on that lock that layer you can paint that you can't paint that with a very soft brush what i mean by soft brush pressing f5 you're gonna activate transfer activate tra trans pen pressure yeah or pretty much just make your brush an airbrush or any kind of setting look at this i'm using orange and when i paint everything becomes a little bit orange Painting very gentle and soft. And if you cannot turn your brush into a soft one, you can just go here and lower the opacity. It's a simple tutorial, but it's for everyone that need a starting point. You're gonna get there. You're gonna get your go. Okay. Leave a like and subscribe if you want more content like this. And if you're from YouTube, say thank you to the patrons because they are the ones making this possible. And if you're looking into even more amazing and cool tutorials, why not subscribe to this channel? I'm sure you're going to find so much great content, not only in the learning way, but also in the very important funny way. Heck yeah, subscribe, leave a like, you can check out our game road, our Patreon. Thank you very much for watching and I'll be seeing you in the next one. Bye bye!